Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1983 Detroit Tigers season replay. Today's matchup is between the Cleveland Indians and the Detroit Tigers at Tigers Stadium. On the mound for the Indians today is John Denny, whose record is 6-5 with a 3.08 ERA. And pitching for the Tigers today is Tom Filer, whose record is 1-1 one one with a 4.22 ERA. And so we polished off the month of May with a 16 and 11 record. We took a loss yesterday in game one of the uh, three game series against the Indians. Uh, Eric Wilkins pitched for the Indians and he was absolutely lights out against us. Um, he's their number five starter with a sub 80 rating and uh, he pretty much shut us down uh, the entire ball game. Joaquin Andahar got his first start for us and he was not good, to say the least, um, giving up four runs in four plus innings, uh, four walks. He had four strikeouts. Everything was fours, uh, but we took the loss, and uh, we move on to the month of June. Uh, we did finish off the month yesterday uh, with a separate video in which we looked at the standings, uh, the league leaders, and then we took a few minutes to look at all of the uh, trades that occurred in the month of uh, May. Uh, just to see how the players were doing on their new teams. So that was kind of fun, too. If you didn't get a chance to uh, check it out, uh, just take a look at the uh, 1983 Detroit Tigers season replay playlist, which is on my homepage here, okay? So let's go ahead and get today's game uh, started. As always, I appreciate everyone following along, like and or subscribe to the channel. Oh, boy, I forgot that we have two lefties that are not available today. Capizello and Comstock and this lineup is filled with lefties and we have our number four starter Tom Filer who is not a good uh, starter for us so this could be this could be a rough game uh, Filer's the current uh, Cleveland lineup only has three to play three plate appearances against him so not a lot to go on there our lineup today versus John Denny. He's a right-hander, so we got our lineup in there versus righties. Uh, the only real difference is we've given uh, Kevin Bass the day off. He started basically every game since he was uh, called up from AAA. So he's going to sit. we got Glenn Wilson in there. Um, and we moved Alan Trammell up in the lineup to see if that could uh, maybe get him uh, kick-started. Let's go ahead and do the lineup rundown for the... Cleveland Indians. Batting leadoff, playing third base, is Kevin Romberg. Batting second, playing first base, is Carl Pagel. Batting third in center field is Von Hayes. Batting cleanup in right field is Dan Pasqua. Batting fifth and DHing is Tim Norid. Batting sixth and catching is Chris Bando. Batting seventh in left field is Jerry Turner. Batting 8th, playing 2nd base is Juan Bania. And batting ninth at shortstop is Jerry Dibzinski. On the mound for the Tigers is Tom Filer, making his ninth start. He's only got two decisions. Uh, his, uh, so he's 1-1 one one with a 4.22 ERA. More walks and strikeouts in 49 innings pitched. Opponents are batting 245 against him. No complete games, no shutouts. His fastball tops out at 90 miles an hour. He is a ground ball pitcher, 47% of the time. Uh, fastball is his best pitch. It's rated an 82. A slider and a curve he mixes in. His overall rating is 77. Now, that's what, exactly what Eric Wilkins was yesterday. So, uh, maybe we can get a Wilkins-like performance from Filer. He's 26 years old, and he goes to arbitration next year. Uh, let's take a look at his log. He didn't pitch all that poorly against the Yankees. He went seven innings. That's a season high. Giving up three runs on three hits. He did have four walks. He's had four walks in three of the last four uh, uh, games. So, uh, yeah, not great from him. So we need him to pitch well enough so we don't have to go to our bullpen and try to save Rucker for the end of the ballgame. Okay, here is the Tigers defense for today. We got Glenn Wilson back out there in right field. 
Terry Kennedy behind the plate doing a good job defensively. And Kevin Romberg leading off against Tom Filer. And an infield single to third. That is exactly the worst possible thing. Because you know Romberg's going to be going. Kennedy's shown a good arm so far. Only rated an 81. And then Filer walks Pagel. Oh, no. Okay. Um, we could really use a double play here. Von Hayes is not having the... Uh, good season betting 232 with six home runs and a pop-up on the infield that'll help us out as long as Whitaker makes the catch he does there's one down now this is what happened yesterday right we get we had two runners on with Dan Pasqua up and Pasqua crushed it to give the Indians uh the three-run lead and they only scored one more after that base hit into left field from Pasqua Romberg scores and it's one to nothing Cleveland why are they so good against us I don't know here's Tim Norrid up next 0-2 count and he's protecting the play popping it up to first two outs as Murray makes the catch we're going to pull the outfield in now with Chris Bando up he's got a little bit of power but if there's a base hit through uh, the infield, we would like to try to get Pagel out at home. He's not a fast base runner. Is a base hit? We're going to find out. Pagel does hold it third. So we will get a shot here at getting out of the city with only giving up one run. That does work, pulling the outfield in. From, from time to time, it's got to be the right combination of base runner and outfield arm. And... Uh, Let's see if we can take advantage of that. Here's Jerry Turner. Bases loaded against Tom Filer. And he pops it up on the third base foul line. And Hatcher makes the catch. Actually, it's Trammell coming over there calling him off. So we give up only one run that inning after loading the bases. We go to the bottom of the first. Here's the Tigers. Official lineup rundown for today's game. Batting leadoff, playing second base is Sweet Lou Whitaker. Batting second in left field is Ricky Henderson. Batting third at shortstop is Alan Trammell. Batting cleanup, playing third base is Mickey Hatcher. Batting fifth, playing first base is Eddie Murray. Batting sixth at DHing today is Kirk Gibson. Batting 7th in right field is Glenn Wilson. Batting 8th in catching is Terry Kennedy. And batting ninth in center field is Chet Lemon. Let's take a look at John Denny. I think we've seen him already this year. And I mentioned in that start that he was the Cy Young Award winner in 1983 uh, for the Phillies. He's making his 13th start this year. 6-5 and five with a... 3.08 ERA. They have got to be on a four-man rotation to have 13 starts already. He is their ace, so he's number one in the in the uh, positioning. 50 Ks in 90.2 innings pitched. Opponents are betting 255 against him. He's given up. Uh, I'm sorry. He's uh, had two complete games. He is uh, a 87 mile an hour fastball with a 42.5% uh, ground ball percentage. His fastball is his best pitch. It's rated in 86. He's got a curve and a change. Overall rated in 84. He's making a million dollars. Doesn't go to free agency until 1986. And how did he do against Detroit? He's pitched against us twice. Took the loss back on April 21st, giving up 10 hits and 6 runs in 7 and a third. And then he came back and beat us on this three-game winning streak he's got going. Uh, going eight and two-third innings, giving up two runs on five hits. Let's take a look at the Indians' defense. Only Gold Glover is Bando behind the plate. We've got Sweet Lou leading off against John Denny. Let's get that run back. Ground ball from Whitaker to first. And Pagel makes the play, one down. Next up is Ricky Henderson in a minor 
slump. As now, with that ground ball out, his average dips down to 310. Two quick outs for Denny. And Alan Trammell takes strike three looking. So putting him in the number three spot did absolutely nothing for us. We go to the top of the second inning. Juan Bonilla leading off. If you watched the uh, leaders video yesterday, you know that Juan Bonilla is leading the American League in batting average with a 345 batting average. Ground ball to first, and Murray makes the play. One down. We need a clean inning here from Tom Filer. The Dibber up next grounds out to Trammell. Two quick outs. And we're back to the top of the lineup with Kevin Romberg, who walks. So, like I mentioned in the pregame, Filer's walked four batters in three out of the last four games. And he's walked two here with two down. Second. Make it three. Damn it. So Filer's not the answer. And we are really low on options for starters as um, Von Hayes strikes out. We have Jerry Uger. He's in AAA. And uh, he had that last start where he did not even get it out. So we might be in trouble as Mickey Hatcher lines out to first. One down. Uh, Dave Rosma has had two terrible starts in a row. And so Morris has been our ace and our anchor as uh, Murray flies up to center. So we don't have any options. I mean, uh, and a hard pitch, you know, subpar yesterday. Hey, there's our first hit. It's Gibby. Who we dropped down in the number six spot. And Gibson is on first. Now, Wilson does not hit right as well. He's batting 163. So let's try to have Gibson steal second base. 74% chance. At least get a runner into scoring position with two outs. Fastball up and Gibson is gunned down. That is his third caught stealing of the year. He's five for eight. We go to the top of the third. Here is Danny Pasqua leading off. Pasqua had a base hit his first time up. Here he lines out to left center field. Filer is doing a little bit better against the lefties the second time through. Tim Norrid lines out to left. Two quick outs. And then Bando strikes out. Okay, there was a great inning from Filer. Maybe he just had to shake off that first inning experience. We go to the bottom of the third. Glenn Wilson, he was at the plate when Gibby was thrown out. Flips it out to center field where Von Hayes makes the catch. One down. Terry Kennedy up next. Terry Kennedy! He has been amazing for us. He hit one off the scoreboard there. 428 feet. He went oppo taco. Uh, that makes this one to one on Kennedy's second home run of the season. Lance Parrish might never get another shot. Unbelievable. So the game is tied as Lemon grounds out to short. Two down. And we're back to the top of the lineup with Lou. Lou is 3 for 22 in his career versus John Denny. And he strikes out. So we even it up at 1 on Kennedy's second home run of the season. We go to the top of the 4th. Jerry Turner will lead off. Turner, Bania, and the Dibber. Turner pops it up on the infield. That's a nice curveball from Filer. 74 mile an hour rainbow. There's one out. Filer's at 51 pitches. It's not horrible considering how the game started. A uh, ground ball to second from Bania. And the number nine hitter, Jerry Dibzinski with two down. He's going to dump it into left center field. A base hit. He's trying to get his average up above the uh, Mendoza line. 
fourth hit against Filer to go with those three walks. And we're back to the top of the lineup with Romberg. Romberg one for one with a walk. And the Dibber tried to steal second base. And uh, Kennedy guns him down. So the Dibber is four for seven on stolen bases this year. Great job by Kennedy. We go to the bottom of the fourth inning with Ricky leading off. Let's get Ricky on base, make something happen. Nope, he's going to flip it to right. One out. Here's Alan Trammell. Trammell struck out the first time up. Here he taps it back to Denny. Out number two. That's going to bring up Mickey Hatcher. Denny is a pitcher that even Hatcher's had trouble with. He's 0 for 5 in his career against Denny. And there's an infield single. First hit against Denny in, in uh, Hatcher's career. Two down. Let's get a two-out rally going here. Murray into center field. Will that fall in? It does fall in for a hit. Hatcher takes third. And the Tigers have four hits. Now Gibby, he got it started with his first hit of the ball game. Let's see if Gibson can drive in some runs. Yeah, dead center field, three run shot. A Jimmy Jack to center. And the Tigers take the lead, four to one. Gibson's seventh dong of the season. That is amazing. It's four to one. Here's Glenn Wilson with two down. And Wilson gets a base hit of the middle. So Denny's struggling now. All this comes with two outs. Four straight hits. And we're back to Terry Kennedy, who uh, just hit that home run to tie the ball game last inning. Here he pulls it to first, and that will do it. So the Tigers take the lead on the three-run home run from Kirk Gibson, his seventh on the season. We go to the top of the fifth. It's 4-1 to Detroit, and suddenly Tom Filer looking pretty good here. Now Kevin Romberg was at the plate when the Dibber was thrown out. Romberg sends a fly ball to left, and Henderson makes the catch. There's one down. And now the lefties are due up. You know, if we had a, bull, a bullpen full of lefties, I would just pull Filer now. Um, I don't have a lot of confidence the third time through, uh, considering that he's walked Pagel twice already. There we go. He gets him to pop it up. We just got to get one more here. Catch made out there in right by Wilson. And here is Von Hayes. He's over two with a strikeout today. And a base hit up the middle. Well, you knew that was coming. Runner on first. Dan Pasqua at the plate. And Von Hayes steals second. That makes no sense. You're down three. Um, you need hits, but um, that is his fifth. Stolen base on the season. Let's get let's go after the uh, batter here. It's an 0-1 count. And Pasqua sends a fly ball to center. That will do it. We're going to the bottom of the fifth. Everyone do a shot real quick. I, I need a little drink. Okay. We should make a drinking game. Uh, that would be a lot of fun uh, out of my, my presentation here. Okay, Chet Lemon leading off against John Denny, bottom of the fifth. He lines it to left. Nice play out there as Turner makes the catch. One out for Sweet Lou. We're back to the top of the lineup. Third time through, we're only in the bottom of the fifth. And Lou dumps it into left center field. Little duck start. It falls in. Nice. Um, and do we want to go for two? I kind of do, actually. Um, it's a gut thing. I can feel it in my gut. He's going to make it. Here we go. Yes! 
My gut is never wrong. Whitaker gets his sixth double of the season. All gut instinct. Runner in scoring position. Here's Ricky Henderson. Let's keep it aggressive here. Ground ball to third. That is the worst base to hit it to. As Whitaker must hold. And that will leave it up to Trammell. Trammell 0 for 2 today. And a ground ball to first. That'll do it. So the double was wasted. We leave him at second base. We go to the top of the sixth. And I guess we will try to get through this inning with Filer. And then when we get to the righties, we will bring in a reliever. So whether it's a 1-2-3 inning and we go to the seventh or... Um, or if Filer just completely implodes, uh, we've got to try to get through one more inning here. He's at 67 pitches. He could go like 115. So uh, he's right around halfway until he gets tired. Tim Norrid lines out to right. There's one down. Here's Chris Bando. Batting 250 with four home runs on the season. Make it five. The switch hitter just clobbers it. And it's 4-2 Detroit. This is going to be the last batter for Filer. Either way, it's Jerry Turner. He's batting 322 and an infield single. Come on. That is such poop. Well, Filer actually looked like he was doing pretty well there, but I think the final line score is not going to reflect that. We're going to bring in uh, Roy Thomas. We're not going to bring in Gumpy Gumpert. Um, yeah, our, our righty bullpen guys don't have a lot of good name, you know, a lot of name value. But Roy Thomas has been very good for us. Sixth appearance, not giving up a run. Six and two third innings. He's walked three, struck out five. The Pulitzer are batting 091 against him. And yeah, he's been devastating to righties and lefties. And uh, we're going to need um, him to uh, maybe turn, uh, get a ground ball here. Let's turn a double play, get out of this inning. Nope, base hit. Oh, come on. That's no surprise, I guess, with um, Juan Bonilla. He is a good hitter. We're going to pull the outfield in so nothing drops in. I don't mind giving up that run. But we're going to keep the, double, uh, the infield at double play depth. And try to turn two if it's a ground ball. Otherwise, um, we want to try to prevent something from falling in. There's a ground ball to second. And a double play gets us out of it. 4-6-3 double play. No need to overanalyze. We go to the bottom of the six. Let's take a look at the in-game stats. Um, player of the game so far. It's got to be Gibby. He's two for two with a home run in the number six hole. So he's looking pretty good. And here is Mickey Hatcher leading off against John Denny. Denny's only at 71 pitches. And Hatcher gets a base hit. There we go. He's two for three. Uh, my gut is saying do not go with Hatcher. But we will hit and run with, uh, oops, not steal second. Hit and run with Eddie Murray. Murray one for two on the day. Ooh. Come back or to Denny. That will get Hatcher over. So, we have a runner in scoring position. Try to get that run back. And Gibby's the guy to do it. He's 5 for 13 with a home run against Denny. And as I mentioned, he's 2 for 2 today. Gibby! Ground ball to second. That'll get Hatcher over to third. And leave it up to Glenn Wilson. To uh, come through with two down. Wilson had a hit last time up. And he goes deep into right center field. Look at that. Six, seven, and eight all have home runs today. That is Glenn Wilson's fifth home run on the season. Doing a big Willie style. I forgot. Somebody else came up with a good nickname for Glenn Wilson, and it escapes me at the moment. 
So I'm pulling out the old uh, Big Willie. Wait, what? Here's Terry Kennedy. Terry Kennedy's been absolutely awesome for us. He flies out to left, and that'll do it. Tigers are winning 6-2. to two. Going into the seventh inning, we're not really out of it yet, though, right? Because we have all of these lefties coming up. We're going to leave Roy Thomas in there to face Romberg. And if Romberg gets on, we will go to a lefty. If he does not get on, we're going to play it by ear with Roy Thomas, who's done well versus lefties. Here we go, Romberg. Popping it up. That's what we want. Travel calling for it, I hope. He does. He makes the catch on the outfield grass. Okay, this is where things get a little shaky. But we're going to try to get Thomas through this. Starting with Carl Pagel. He's walked twice today. He's a three-true outcome guy. As he hits a grounder to Hatcher, Hatcher makes the play. He's slowly creeping his uh, fielding percentage up. Two down, and Von Hayes, who's one for three. He had that meaningless stolen base. And he grounds out to second. All right. There we go. We go to the bottom of the seventh inning. Chet Lemon will lead off. Lemon is three for seven with a home run against John Denny. He's 0 for 2 today, though. So Denny does give up the home runs. He's given up three today. And yet, they choose to keep him in there. He's given up six runs. Nine hits, no walks. We're back to Sweet Lou again. Lou, one for three, pops it up to right. Two down. And Ricky Henderson strikes out. Henderson having a bad game at the plate. We go to the top of the eighth inning. We're going to bring our lefty in, Dave Rucker. And Mother Rucker, he has been excellent, but well overused. This is his 23rd appearance. 3-2 and two with a 159 ERA. 17 K, 17 innings pitched. Uh, Publisher batting 258. He's got six saves. He does have a bluey. 91 miles an hour fastball. Ground ball pitcher. Like to keep it on the ground. He goes to arbitration next season. And we've got four lefties. Well, three lefties and a switch hitter coming up. So we'll call it four lefties. Starting with Dan Pasqua here in the top of the eighth inning. Pasqua slices it to left. Henderson has to come in quickly to make the catch. One out. Next up is Tim Norid. Norid grounds out to second. And that's going to leave it up to Chris Bando, who's already hit a home run today. 3-1 count. And he's taking a cut. Sending it to right, and that is it. We go to the bottom of the eighth inning. Tigers are up four. Alan Trammell leading off. Denny, 96 pitches. Nope, not even close to being tired. Trammell, base hit the center field. That's his first hit today. So the leadoff man is on. I don't think we've done that too often today. Now we're up four. I would normally hit and run here, but we're up four, and I think this is an opportunity for Hatcher to just take a swing. There we go. Base hit the left. Trammell goes to third, and Hatcher three for four today. They're going to bring in their closer. It's Victor Cruz. This is a guy I would not mind having on my team. I wonder how much he's going to ask for in arbitration. Uh, he's got a 98-mile-an-hour fastball. He's got 10 saves and no blueies. He's probably going to be a representative in the All-Star game for the Indians. His fastball is rated at 97. He's got a palm ball. How many pitchers do you know with a secondary pitch of a palm ball? Overall rated at 82. He's only 25 years old, so he's got a long career ahead of him. He was actually out of baseball by 1983 in real life, um, as you can see here with his 1982 card. And I want to say he did something bad. Now, I can't think of what his story is. But 
Maybe I can look it up later and let you guys know. So it's first and third, and Murray is squaring up against Victor Cruz. This is power versus power right here. A ground ball to second. Hatchup is doubled off. Yeah, so double play. 4-6-3. A run scores. No RBI for Murray, but we'll take the insurance run as Gibby steps in and Gibson pops it up. So great job by Cruz. They sacrifice that run, but get out of the inning. You go to the top of the ninth. Tigers are up five. Not a save opportunity, but we probably won't press Rucker uh, beyond Jerry Turner. Wow, that was ball four, and Turner was swinging. And that'll do it. We're going to take out Dave Rucker. And now we will bring in Gumpy Gumpert. Dave Forrest Gumpert uh, making his fifth appearance. He did have a, a good outing his last time out. Otherwise, he'd given up a run uh, in every appearance. So let's see if we can get through this inning with Juan Benilla. Two outs to go. Benilla and Dibzinski, two of the lightest hitting uh, players in the American League. He gets Benilla. And here it is, Jerry Dibzinski with two down in the ninth inning. A line drive right at Trammell. And that is the ball game. Tigers win 7-2. Handshakes, butt slaps, sloppy steaks. That's the way you want to start off the month of June. It's simulating, so it's thinking, are there trade options? No, they're not offering us anything. Let's take a look at the standings. We did just look at them yesterday extensively, but in general... The Tigers do get a one-game uh, uh, lead back on the Yankees, so it's six-back for them now. And Seattle closes the gap. Okay, let's move on to headline news. Brainiac Baseball Daily Beat. Jones holds the Blue Jays to four hits. Jo uh, he's on the, uh, Baltimore, right? Um, Blue Jays hitters were fooled all night by Randy Jones. He's got a 542 ERA. Take a look at his scouting. He's 5-5. Five and five. Not bad for a pitcher making $1.5 million. One of the highest paid players in our sim. Okay, uh, so Randy, that's it. Randy Jones was the only uh, notification for news. Let's take a look at the transactions. Any more trades? No, only one injury, and that is Rick Manning. He got his shoulder separated. Maybe it's because he stole Dennis Eckersley's wife. 32 days. So Baltimore does suffer a loss to their center fielder. Uh, who is their backup? I'm kind of curious. Let's take a look. Who did they stick in there? In center field. Oh, around the floor. They got around the floor. He was in the platoon uh, anyway. So that's not so bad, having around the floor in there. Uh, 1983 was Ron LaFleur's last season. Okay, we're going to pull up the box score and get out of here. Thanks for watching, guys. Like and or subscribe to the Chin Up. Well, there is going to be a, again, I've said it a couple times. I want to keep reminding you. I promise there's going to be a contest. I'm working on something big. Uh, it's going to be for subscribers only. So if you're not a subscriber, click the subscriber button. Player of the game. Uh, is going to be Kirk Gibson. He knocked in three runs, a three-run home run. His seventh of the game, of the season. That was a game-winning RBI. Tom Filer gets a win after having that uh, tough uh, start to the ball game. Gets out of a bases loaded situation, and that really is the difference in the game. Uh, bullpen did great. And Guppy Gumpert, his ERA is under 10 for the first time this year. That's going to do it. We're going to come back tomorrow with game three of the three-game series. Until then, everyone, have a great night.